questions. We'll start off with John Warner from the Waco Tribune Herald. Hi, Ben. Um, uh, what did y'all learn from the bowl game, Sugar Bowl, two years ago? And what do you tell the younger guys about how to approach this? Uh, I guess it's a little new for me too. So two years ago, I had shoulder surgery. Uh, so I wasn't really involved as much as I could have been. Um, but I would just say that this is a really big uh, opportunity. You know, playing in the New Year's Six is a really big accomplishment for a team. Uh, so to take it very seriously and, you know, the season's not over. So, you know, keep going. Next will be Jerry Hill from Baylor Bears Insider. Yeah, Ben, uh, what's it meant to – Obviously, you know, Blake being hurt, that's that's a down point. But having Gary back in there, what does that mean for the offense? Uh, I think it shows to our offense that whatever quarterback's in the game is we're going to be able to get the job done. Um, and I think Blake was able to show that in playing in the last couple of games he was able to play in. And now we got Gary back, and I think we're going to be firing on all cylinders. And I'll go to David Ubbin from The Athletic. Uh, yeah, Ben, what has this ride been like for you guys, um, you know, I, especially after last season and, and coming in here and, and winning the Big 12 and getting back to the Sugar Bowl? Um, I don't know. kind of feels like we're able to do something that we weren't able to do two years ago. So it's like another challenge for us. Um, obviously, we played in the Big 12 game two years ago, and that didn't turn out the way we wanted, uh, likewise with the Sugar Bowl. So I feel like this year gives us another chance to rewrite history and uh, uh, maybe make, take a shot at winning both. We'll now go to Eric Kelly from KWKT TV in Waco. Yeah, man. Just in terms of Gary, is there a play he made in he's made in practice recently where you guys were like, okay, like he's like back on, as an offensive player? Um, maybe not so much one specific play, but it's like he's back. He's picking up uh, where he left off, and that's always good to see too. You, sometimes you see guys that are a little offbeat, don't have the timings right. Uh, Gary has come back completely 100% uh, and ready to go. So it fires everybody up. Next, we'll go to Chris Williams from KWTX in Waco. And obviously, we've seen you catch touchdown passes all year, but you also spent a lot of time in the trenches right there with the offensive line. Um, can you just kind of give us some insight to that group? How tight-knit are they? How much pride do they have? And how were they able to have such a turnaround from last season? You talking about the O-line? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think the biggest thing that we did was in January, we established that our team is going to be based around the O-line and the D-line and that they'll be the core of our team. And, you know, uh, taking that initiative as a team, we really put the key, we gave the keys to the O-line and D-line to say that y'all determine what happens, you know, or not so much giving them the keys, but it's like we're going to this is our baseline. And if we become strong in these two areas, the rest will fall into place. Um, so I feel like the O-line has been given a bigger responsibility um, and a lot more accountability. We'll now go to Sam Khan from The Athletic. Ben, I'm curious, what in your opinion has made Gary successful as a quarterback? And also, how have you two developed such a good chemistry in the passing game? Uh, what makes Gary Gary is he's a very, uh, he's a very vocal leader. Um, obviously, he uh, didn't play for a couple of years, but that helped him develop into like the quarterback he is. Um, you know, he'll do anything in his power to make other people successful, including himself. Um, so I think that Gary is a huge team guy. All he cares about is the team. He's not a, he's not a selfish guy whatsoever. Um, he puts everybody first. And, you know, you love to see that out of a leader. And then second, me and Gary came in together in 2018. Uh, so our friendship and our, like, I guess, connectiveness uh, has always been there. You know, we're close friends. We talk a lot. And then him playing this year just showed how much we've been working together. Now go to Jack Allen from KXXV. What would you say maybe is the biggest difference between the team this season and the last time you went to the Sugar Bowl? And has there been a different energy in the buildup to bowls? Um, I mean, a lot has changed since 2019, as you guys know. Um, I don't know. It is different. Uh, the leadership style is a little different. Uh, the coaching style is different. I mean, everything about what we've transformed into has been different, I feel like. Um, so I guess it's just want to do, got, do play for your teammates and hold each other accountable. I mean, there's not much to it. Now I'll go to Eric Kelly from KWKT TV. Hey, quick question. Just, you know, having 
with the holidays and, and Coach Aranda talked about how you guys were able to go home and, you know, you, you go home and I'm sure you see on TV and on Twitter games getting canceled and everything going on around you guys, just in the world as a whole. How, how do you, you know, does, it have, does that worry about, okay, are we going to be able to play, you know, is this game still going to happen? Does that ever creep into your mind? Are you pretty good about being so game focused that you are able to just kind of keep it on that? <clears throat> I, mean, I feel like I've said this to you before. It's like all about keeping the main thing the main thing. And if you let distractions come in, all it's going to do is affect the team play. Um, so I just think us staying focused right now, knowing we're going to play Saturday, um, preparing to play Saturday, and really not considering distractions, I feel like it's a huge plus uh, for a lot of our guys. Thank you very much for your time this morning, Ben. We really appreciate you coming over here for these interviews, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in New Orleans in a few days.